Hadouken! Hey, so welcome back, guys. TMD in the building. We're back in the Sweatville of Akihabara. Going to be talking about some uh, climate change and why coming to Japan sucks in the summertime. Uh, this is a totally unplanned video, by the way. So uh, bear with me if I uh, go off tangent a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, some of my friends have, uh, have uh, visited me during the summertime and uh, as, as good as the weather is, it looks sunny and everything's chill to a certain degree. Uh, coming here in the summertime is absolutely fucking brutal. Um, it's harder for me because uh, I fucking live here and I have to work in the fucking unair conditioned school classrooms of my workplace which is uh, unbearable at times so uh well, she's kind of cute man so uh when I first came to Japan um, I kind of laughed at my uh he's, he's famous this guy um I kind of laughed at the fact that uh, my ex told me that it would be uh, it would be hot and you know I'm, my mum's from a hot country so uh, I thought oh, I'll be fine holy crap I remember the first ever summer I had here it was just uh, fucking brutal it's just the uh, the, uh, the the humidity just kills it for me and uh, let me get into detail about it a little bit more. Japan, fucking wind, has four seasons, believe it or not. Oh, this fucking wind, man. So basically, um, it's, it's insanely cold in the winter and extremely hot in the summer. So you've got two extremes of the, uh, the the spectrum here, and uh, summertime now is actually a season that I really detest, and many other Japanese people uh, share the same opinion. Look at these cakes! Holy crap! So. Uh, one reason is why I hate it so much is the fact that I have to work in this weather. Um, I'm required to wear a, one of these fucking suit things, which makes it really unbearable to teach. Um, Japanese people tend to uh, actually follow business work attire rules and uh, they wear they wear suits to work, which is just beyond me. Because in Okinawa, oh kawaii. Um, hello. Um, in Okinawa, they actually have a they can wear shorts and stuff like that, which is really cool. Which makes sense because they live on a tropical island. Um, so that's that's one of the uh, the list. And secondly, is the fact that. Uh, you like wearing like high high end brand clothing which doesn't last two seconds in this thing so uh, your, fur, your, your shirts will just get fucked up sweat marks hats get fucked up again salt sweat marks um, if you're a girl then no problem you can wear a little hot pants a little skirt you know looking uh, cute and stuff but if you're a guy man it's bullshit um, third thing is and I'm gonna go in and out of positives and negatives about this shit is the fact that um, summer it's great for like festivals hello boys konnichiwa Pinky. 
good. Um, they've got matteries, which are great. You know, fireworks, Hanami, all that mad, mad shit. And uh, yeah, it's good fun. But that's about it. Where I live currently is uh, in the middle of Chiba. So for me to get to a beach takes two hours. Um, so it's not as easy uh, to get down to the beach as I would like um, to cool off. Okay, so um, yeah, that kind of sucks. I mean, if you're coming on holiday to the beach, then no problem. You know, you can chill out, get in the sea, have a dip, all that good stuff. But apart from that, man, if you're in the city, ah, oh, it sucks so much. Third thing, as you can probably see by this uh, this video, foreigners, they're everywhere. Uh, in winter time, it's not so busy. Um, this is a, a, a massive tourist hotspot for Tokyo, and uh, I personally have mixed opinions about. Um, Akihabara itself. It's not what it used to be at all. Um, it's now becoming, ooh, uh, it's now becoming a, a huge tourist trap. Uh, where am I going? Oh, one stop down. It, oh shit. It's becoming a huge tourist trap. Um, there you go, what's this called? Grisilla Phantom Trigger. Awesome. <laughs> um, I forgot what I, was, what I was saying. Yeah, it's become this uh, kind of geared towards the, the Chinese at the moment with these uh, used, um, sorry, not used, discounted um, tax shops for tourists specifically aimed at, um, at the Chinese because they have like these bus tours now that uh, specifically deal with oh there they are look Mario Kart people how does that thing move with her on it I do not know but anyway um, yeah it's it's not how it used to be. Even I've seen changes in the last 11 years. Um, it was never this popular with uh, foreigners in the beginning. And here we have some more Americanized um, charcoal grilled burgers, Nancy. Uh, these are the prices what you'll expect to pay here. Uh, 950 yen. That's uh, pretty expensive for a, a burger. Nancy and it comes uh what is it it's um what's it Carl's Jr and it's a big famous chain in the US what's this weird stuff all oh, live more weird things or oh, shooting gallery um it's a pretty interesting interesting shop here Liberty quite quite good for uh gachapon toys They've even got uh, an old Street Fighter 2 arcade machine here, look. 100 yen gameplay. Champion edition. These weird idol cars, which are very obscure. Oh, that's the girl that, um, she was in, um, is it Niigata? 48 she got stalked by two guys two uh, of her fans and basically uh, her company didn't do anything to uh, protect her so she uh, she actually decided to quit the band for good reason because uh, obviously these uh, group girl bands are big business out in Japan and I suppose I didn't want any more scandal related to that this guy's got a very strange t-shirt more, more weird crap to uh, fulfill your Japanese fantasy. Cat cafes. I don't really get the reason why you'd want to spend time 
stroking a cat and paying money for it. They have very weird, very weird cafes. This is a hedgehog cafe and uh, an owl cafe. Apparently, you can uh, a cafe to play with a hedgehog. Cheese cafe to play with hedgehog appeared. Make of that as you want. Uh, also, another thing as well, you got to notice in Japan that um, a lot of things is towered up. What I mean by that is uh, most of the businesses are in um, levels. So. Uh, you can see this door here or this building's got uh, six floors um, some are a bit obscure but uh, this wind is gonna really fuck up my video and I'm pissed already about it more electronics These fans are very popular right now in Japan. I don't see how they would really work in this heat. <laughs> Got a, uh, this kebab shop is quite popular as well. Star kebab. I had a kebab here once, and uh, let's put it this way: uh, the toilet was my best friend. Um, I think this place is uh, closed down. Japan, hey, very weird country. But uh, interesting, there's another little uh, spot here. Got some Street Fighter 2 things up there. Gonna do a bit of a loop. I've actually bought lots of water today. Can we get down there? I think I filmed down here um, a couple of weeks ago, but I thought I'd uh, do a little more, more filming and uh, talk about this summer thing. Yeah, so uh, luckily most of the places over here are uh, air conditioned, um, so that's a good thing because sometimes you can actually. Uh, feel the cold air coming out of these buildings because that's how much power they use for the air conditioning. Oh, there's a lot of these cool uh, PC shops now in Japan. They're really getting into this, uh, this PC gaming industry. Another good store here, Trader. They have three stores in Akihabara, very good for games where I get my uh, my foreign games and stuff like that. And there you've got uh, the infamous uh, Don Quixote. It's one of the first ever stores that I actually uh, visited when I came here. I want to get uh, film this uh, police car. Again, can you see like these buildings up here? Um, just a word of uh, notice here is that these buildings are the places where these uh, JK girls work. And they have these weird things where you can um, walk around with a JK girl or have your fortune read. Some Japanese men are like really into that shit. It's very weird. Obviously in the UK or the our Western world, we would, uh, well, you would probably be arrested. This is a pretty uh, funky invention. This is uh, an icing unit powered by USB. I did try this the other day. Uh, you press this button and it's, it is quite cold. Uh, minus 13 degrees. Interesting. <coughs> With some more of these miniature fan things. It's actually 
it's not powerful but it, it does give out some kind of uh, air oh this is another retro gaming shop I don't know what this shop's called but uh, they've got loads of Nintendo games in here or oh, Dreamcast sweet this guy's gonna play some Street Fighter 2 Hadouken he doesn't seem he doesn't seem too happy the fact that I'm filming him. Let's see how good or bad he is. Oh he's going option. What level? Changing his boy oh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I don't want to upset him. He'll probably like start shouting at me, Gaiji, no camera. Uh this shop here. I forgot what the story is. Uh, they don't allow filming inside, but they used to have a sign in here uh, for no photography, because this is where the massacre happened uh, in 2008, where this crazy guy had like stabbed people with a knife. And I think he got the knife from this store, believe it or not. But it's called uh, Akiba Old Kodo JP. Again, there's another retro game camp shop here. As you can see, there's loads of retro gaming. The gaming is still popular here for this kind of stuff. Ooh. Right. I'm going to... Uh, Try and uh, find uh, a place to have a cigarette. But yeah, as you can see, here they've got a oh Bagus. There is like a sports bar. The sushi bar. Saizere is very popular in Japan. Very cheap food. People say that Japan is expensive. Go to Saizeria, it's extremely cheap. For 2,000 yen, you can get a decent meal and a drink for that price. You know? uh, I believe that's where the um, the new, um, what is it? Tamishi Nation star is, I think. Oh, it's the display. saying before I've just done some retail therapy at the moment TMD strikes again so um, yeah coming to summer coming to summer coming to Japan in summer wow, I'm mixing my words here um, oh wow Yoshinoya have uh, updated their um, signage very nice this guy looking at uh, these Chinese people are I don't know uh, yeah so um, also as well if you want to come here as well summertime uh, can be uh, a little bit expensive uh, especially for flight tickets so that's another thing to be wary of also as well that uh, Many of the actual events out here are at the weekend or bank holidays. Um, so if you are going to be here during the week, which I presume many of you are, um, there's always museums and stuff like that to go or some event of some description. Now, as I've been battering on about where to shop over here softmap is killing it with prices at the moment so they do have a point card system if you live in japan so it's uh it's pretty good there are tourists everywhere in this mother beep
and right next door to it is Tamishi Nations. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of, sorry, I'm not a real big fan of uh, Taimishi, only uh, some of their uh, Star Wars stuff. Uh, but apart from that, if they've got a new stand here, because obviously this is the main um, the main street, so they just try to compete with other businesses. And lo and behold, they're next to a uh, big camera. The Asians love their Gundams. So like I was saying before, yeah, when you come uh, over here, uh, the food is not as good. You've only got fruits and that's about it. Uh, so if you like winter food, nabe, skiyaki, hot ramen, winter's the time to come. And I advise people to come in autumn or winter. It's only the fact that you will sweat like me. Look at the state of me now. It's just insane right now. So we're catching the train from uh, Akihabara TX. This is quite exciting. And of course they've got like these uh, anti-suicide gate things, which is kind of weird. That's so, like I'm going to be killing myself. Yeah, so basically um, I got so tired <laughs> from shopping in Akihabara, I couldn't be asked to do any more video blogging. But uh, yeah, continuing this topic about Japanese summers. Uh, The, the eye candy factor uh, is pretty good. Um, if you want to see very sexy looking Japanese women in hot pants, little, uh, I don't know, little crop tops, then it's awesome. And also the fact that uh, a lot of women wear these uh, yokatas, which are like uh, summer wear, which adds to the whole I'm in Japan experience. Anyway, bottoms up. There's been a, a, a high influx of uh, pigeons that have invaded this area recently um, due to the fact that uh, these two old giffers uh, feed the pigeons um, and they've installed like these anti-pigeon nets to stop them uh, from defecating on people's heads. But it clearly hasn't worked very well. Uh, so yeah, here's a view of where I live again. Showing you the daily grind. Uh, there's nothing much going on. It is a Wednesday afternoon, five. So in about two hours, this place will be busy. Um, but this is just uh, daily life, man. So it is. See, I, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> it's crazy, man. In England, I fucking shoot these things. They're fucking everywhere. Somebody's been feeding them. I wonder who it is. Actually, coincidentally, the, uh, the pigeon master was actually just situated over here. So these young guys are getting uh, mauled by these pigeons. Uh, they're probably going to uh, defecate on them. Japanese women are very scared. See, <laughs> scared of pigeons. 
Yeah, so these these, these young guys, it, fucking hell, I'm in the fucking defecation zone. I'm really debating on whether to get another can of chew high. Uh, be careful of pigeons, Toddy, have a night. <laughs> See, look, look, look. It's a real big problem in this area, and it's some guy is just feeding them. There didn't used to be these many, as many pigeons as there used to be. Uh, but as you know, pigeons carry a lot of uh, nasty uh, viruses and diseases. Um, so uh, I don't know if it was this gentleman over here. It's kind of weird. I don't know if this guy is homeless or not. Kind of, uh, it's kind of bizarre. Uh, people that are either very old with no money, poor, feed pigeons with food. Uh, when they should be feeding themselves. It's kind of uh, a strange situation, right? Anyway, let me get some more video in. end this epic video out with an update of my garden so uh, talking about summertime if you're a garden lover like myself um, you have to constantly uh, water your plants quite regularly and uh, to show you guys some of my bonsais so I have to water these plants twice a day um, Obviously, bonsais live in small little pots, so they require misting, like this juniper here. It's got some uh, foliage damage from the sun. Hopefully, it'll grow back. Um, the black pines thrive in this weather, and so did the uh, azaleas. Chinese elms as well require part shade. It's a nice little bonsai that I got a few weeks ago. But uh, again, with summertime temps, maples are very strange as well. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, <clears throat> this maple was, this Asia was thriving few uh, months ago they're uh, very timid uh, trees and as you can see here I've got some damage through the sun but I've got new growth there it's kind of exciting and coming in on there as well um, obviously summertime is the the season of uh, intense growthage. Um, these, this is a cranberry that I bonsaied. Um, some nice growth on there. Sage is doing well. Lemon balm. Thyme has been a bit touch and go. Rosemary can withstand hot temps. Um, tomatoes have had ups and downs as well. I've had a Due to the heavy rain, we've had problems with, um, I've had problems with mildew, which is the first time that I've experienced it. But uh, these hardy plants like the, uh, the azaleas do really well. Obviously, you guys have probably seen my videos. If you're on Facebook, my uh, basil is doing all right. Uh, my herb garden is 
been touch and go as well a little bit with the with the weather. My oregano is looks like it's fading out, but it's reseeding. Strawberries again, um, they flowered well during uh, July. I've actually got some more strawberries down here. All this section here, as you can see with my tomatoes there. I've had a big yield this year. I need to fix that tomorrow, sort that out. But uh, this is what it's like, guys. This is what it's uh, like in summer. Um, my other planter here, I've had good growthage of basil here. Um, I've had a lot of frogs as well, believe it or not. Now the frogs have been laying tadpoles, as you can see, look, there's one there, look. What's up, froggy? Try and get it in my hand. Come here. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing little creatures, amphibians. Um, I've noticed I've had a lot of tadpoles here, can you see? And they're actually eating all the uh, mosquito uh, pupa in there. These are like really active little frogs. I've had, I think I've had about 20 plus frogs in here. Uh, I've got spring onion growing in. Seeding in for uh, late autumn. Abundance of lovely sweet basil. Oh, see? I don't know if that's the same guy. What's up, son? <laughs> Little Japanese frog there. Little bugger. And uh, got some other cuttings and stuff that I've made here tomatoes, mint uh, basil rocket and uh, then the, uh, my plant is going really well I think it's called morning glory not sure what these species are but uh like I said, it's it's summertime, so a lot of things are getting dried out. Um, but I uh, do love gardening; it's one of my uh, passions. My lilies this year haven't um, algae there haven't um, flowered yet. They might flower in a few weeks. And my jade is doing very well. I've put some uh, fertilizer cookies in there. It's actually given to me by my neighbor. And these lilies are doing very well. And that's about it, guys. So, um, thanks for watching my uh, YouTube channel. Um, like I said, uh, I tried to keep this channel very organic and this is about my life in Japan it's uh, very up and down of course but uh, I try not to talk about certain things um, oh that's uh, that's a very dangerous bee floating around. I've actually got um, a very dangerous hornet that's been um, collecting mud from here. This little pool. When we got this um, area made, there's a bit of a dip there. And what they do is, is they collect wet mud. And last year, they actually uh, had about three nests there. Um, you can see but my tomatoes are doing all right There's some big boys in there um, so I'm a little bit worried about it to be honest because I have to uh, 
find where the nest is. They're only small. But uh, I haven't I actually haven't had many birds come in this summer. I don't know why. Maybe it's the temperature again. I might have to put a look make a little uh, water pool in there for water. But everything's going well. This is lemon basil. This is so this is so aromatic. I've got so many basils growing in here because it costs an arm and a leg in Japan to buy it. But uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, interested in my channel. And uh, I'll see you all soon, guys, with some uh, unboxings, hopefully.